What's up guys, today I will be going over the new modifiers on the prestige raids for this week. So this week we have Arm Master, which means you can only use these three type of weapons to play the raid. So with your kinetic slot, you need to be using a pulse rifle for energy, you have to be using an SMG, and for your power, you have to be using a grenade launcher. So, for example, if I put on a hand cannon in the kinetic, it will not allow me to launch the raid. But if I go ahead and switch back to my uh, pulse rifle, it will allow me to launch the raid as intended. So there's no way to enter the prestige raids without having the three weapons required for that week. Also, these are the weapons I was using. In my kinetic slot, I had Nightshade, which has Kill Clip and Lightweight. Kill Clip does not matter because any perk that requires a reload, you cannot use unless it's on a power weapon, as I'll explain later in the video. But... What you want to go for on your pulse rifle is something like Rampage, if you have a pulse rifle with that, I do not, or something like Grave Robber. So in the SMG slot, you want to use the Ikelos SMG or Foggy Notion. Both of them have Grave Robber, and as you'll see later in the video, you can do some pretty funky things with Grave Robber with Arsenal. And also, most other perks on weapons do not work because you can't reload, or you can't really determine which gun you want to use at a certain time. In your power slot for this week, there are two really good options, the Prospector and the Colony, the two exotic grenade launchers in the game. The Prospector has an 8 mag with full auto, and the Colony has a 7 mag, but the uh, grenade launcher is track if you don't direct impact. So, in general use, the Colony might be better, but the Prospector, you can do more damage on bosses with direct impacts. Also, the second modifier is Arsenal. Weapons have no reserve ammo. Emptying the clip of a weapon refills the clips of your holstered weapons. So we're then going to launch the raid to break down that part of the two modifiers. So as you see here, I only have ammo in my kinetic weapon. And to get ammo in my other weapon, I have to first empty the mag. So as I empty the mag, you'll see what happens. We all thought it was going to give us ammo in the other two weapons, but it only gives you ammo in your energy slot. Then once you empty that, it gives you ammo in your power. So it's a cycle that you cannot break. You have to use all three weapons one at a time in that order to get ammo in the next. So... The first question everyone thought was, well, what happens if you use a Luna Faction Boots Rift, where it reloads all of your weapons for you when you're standing in it? And, as you see here, I'm going to go ahead and put down the Rift and try, and it doesn't change anything. While I'm in the Rift shooting my kinetic weapon, it does not pull from reserves because there are no reserves. Then, when I swap to my other weapon, same thing happens. So you cannot break the cycle of the three weapons where you have to do one at a time. So there's no normal way of breaking the chain cycle of the three weapons. You have to use one at a time. But there are a few things you can do, starting with these two perks. So first, on SMGs, you can get a perk called Grave Robber, where melee kills reload a portion of the magazine. Then also on the raid gauntlets from any of the three raids, you can have a perk, as you see right here, giving hand where melee kills will give you a chance at power ammo bricks to drop for you. And these two perks are a way to cheese the whole arsenal system. So as you see here, when I get a kill with my melee, it reloaded my SMG ammo, and it also has a chance of dropping a power ammo brick. And both of those things means you can actually use the weapons you want when you want them. So as you see here, every time I get a melee kill, it refills the mag of my SMG, and also I have a chance at the power ammo. Using Giving Hand is the only way to get ammo in two different weapons at the same time and actually cheese the modifier arsenal. As you see here, I have 27 in my SMG and also 17 in my Prospector. And once you have this setup, you can actually do a lot of crazy things. As you see here, in a new clip, I'm going to go ahead and get 17 ammo again. Then I'm going to place a Luna Faction Rift, which actually works now because you have ammo in your reserves. So as you see, I shoot all 17 of my Prospector shots without reloading. Then I quickly swap to the SMG, empty that mag, and also you can beforehand have that down to like 1 or 2 shots. Then I get 7 ammo back my Prospector, so I just shot 25 heavy shots in roughly like 12-15 seconds. So there are ways to cheese this modifier. So as you see here, another thing you can do is get to like 7 ammo and not reload it, then empty your energy weapon, and it'll give you 8 into your mag, but still keep that 7 reserves. So there's ways to basically generate power ammo. Basically, the whole name of the game with Arsenal is just finding ways to cheese the modifier because both Eater Worlds and Spire Stars bosses have a lot of health, and simply shooting a pulse rifle, SMG, and grenade launcher at the boss will not cut it. You have to find ways around it, either by doing these power ammo glitches, or by using ability spamming with Nighthawks and things like that, Hammer Titans. But anyways, thanks for watching. 
Hope you guys enjoyed.